Well, I appreciate this recap, man. You know what I'm saying? I did have you losing the battle. You know, I'm always going to keep it a bean <laughs> with you. I didn't ask you, though. Somebody checking in, man. Here with the homie T Top. What's good, bro? What's good with you, King? Chilling, man. We fresh out that known battle with Rock. Uh, how, how you feel, man? You done made it back to Raleigh. You done had time to think about everything. Think about, you um, know, everything that went on. Like, how, what's your, what's your thoughts currently, right now? Oh, I don't really think my shit changed. I ain't gonna cap. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like I came out there, did my motherfucking numbers. I feel like Rock came out there, do what Rock do. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like personally that the fans had it made up in their mind, like, all right, this is rock night. You feel me? And I just feel like that from the beginning of the battle. But, you know, other than that, you know, I still did my numbers. He did his numbers. You know what I'm saying? So I guess the fans are saying we won one. You know now, 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 take, take me back because it seemed like y'all had been brewing to battle what what was the reason behind that? Cause y'all always seem pretty cool. So so what what prompted it? You know, cause you did interview saying he was ducking you and y'all had y'all little back and forth. So what made y'all? What made you want to battle rock in the first place? Um, I always wanted to battle rock. You know what I'm saying? Like anybody that know me before you are real, like my RBC days and spit that heat days, shit like that. Niggas know I always wanted to battle Tay Rock. Like that was. That was my shit, like nigga. I'm gonna get, I'm about Tay Rock. So you feel me, like you know. I don't even think I ever told him this shit, but that ass, like, I always wanted to battle rock. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that was just one of the things I always wanted to do. Like before, before I got the URL, before NWX, before Cave Gang, before all of that. You know what I'm saying? All the issues or whatever it was, I always just wanted to battle Tay Rock. Feel me? Cause you got that we've been following Tay Rock since he was chess age coming in. You know what I'm saying? Or DNA yeah. age coming in. You really ain't got too many niggas that come in at that age and still, you know what I'm saying, cross over into like a um a mainstream. But I think probably those are probably the three examples. You know what I'm saying? It'll be a Tay Rock DNA and um a chess. So, you know, we take niggas like that, those three are the deadliest niggas in the culture. Now take take me through your writing process because you battle him once. So like, was it harder for you to come up with more material? Do you feel you like right? Yeah, it was hard. It was harder than motherfucker. I'm like, son, because I'm I'm kicking his ass in the virtual shit, and he's stupid. He's stupid, bro. You was at the first haymaker meetings and shit. I had a vision. I told your ass that we could be rich, nigga. At my table, you always had a seat at the end, and now good's my partner. You let the nigga beat you again. Bitch, this tomb, nigga, bitch, this tomb. Yeah, I was getting crazy up there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna front. I was getting crazy. But I expected him to come crazy too, Paul, or whatever. I, I expected him to get crazy with me in that shit. I didn't think he was just going, you know what I'm saying, doing like a like a day off type shit. I ain't really think that. I thought he was gonna come for my motherfucking night because it's Tay Rock. He don't play with nobody. You know what I'm saying? I know your fucker is virtual or whatever. He don't play. You know what I'm saying? So. 
that's the mentality I was going into the battle with. So how, how did you feel? How did you honestly, like when you were finished writing your three rounds, how did you honestly feel about your material? Did you feel like it was better than the first battle? Not on the same par, still good enough to win? Or, or where were you at oh. with the material? <laughs> I felt like, see, I felt like with the first battle, it was only two rounds, two minutes. So it's like, all right, you got to jam pack it with punches. You know what I'm saying? You really can't, I can't, really can't do the normal T-top thing, which is, you know what I'm saying, paint the whole picture. I got to jab at it, jab, do this, do this, say little shit like that because I got to get it done in two minutes and still walk them down the way my, my fans and supporters know me to walk motherfuckers down. You know what I'm saying? So that one was kind of more like, um, I feel like that one was more... I was trying to, I was trying to get my punch percentage high because I knew it was a short amount of time, and I thought he was gonna come with his high punch percentage like he do. So that was my thinking in there, like, nah, I gotta, I gotta, my percentages, I gotta, I gotta check more on the, uh, what they were saying. I gotta, I gotta check more boxes than him. Yeah, yeah. You feel what they were saying like last year or some shit? I had to check more boxes than the nigga. So that's what I wanted to do in that first one. That was my mentality. It's like, yo, do more than him in a short amount of time. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you finish your when you finish writing three rounds, who do who do you go to to like yo listen to my material? Like who who your go to MCs that I you be a like? Lot. I mean, not a lot, lot like. So who who heard your who heard your rock rounds before the before the battle? Um, of course, Briz. Um, Twerk only heard the first, but those are like because he was just getting out a couple days before, so I really didn't get to run them like I usually do. Um, Briz, Jerus, Don Marino, DNA. Um, other niggas, you know, uh, some niggas that I might that I might call. You know, you can't really call them because you might be battling their homeboy. Right, so you right. really can't call them. I let Geechee hit around. You know what I'm saying? Me and Geechee went through them. Um, me and Rum went through them. Um, you know, now, now, I like always a, wanted like a, like, a, like a top, like the top six, seven niggas that I that I fuck with personally on their pin game. That's who I. Now, do you know niggas really be keeping it real? And niggas just be like, yo, that's fire. And keep it moving. Do niggas, what niggas tell you, like, yo, take that shit out. Like, that, this nah, ain't. Nah, that's a fact, bro. Niggas, oh, are, like, I ain't gonna cap. That's okay. why I love my niggas, yo. I ain't gonna front. Especially, I would tell you who, I would tell you who gonna tell you that shit trash the, the quickest. Who, who, who is that? Twerk. He will <laughs> tell. I don't twerking. get it. <laughs> nah, I don't get it, son. So, like, but all of them will. You know, and I'll do the same with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I don't know what the fuck that is. You know what I'm saying? It's probably hot, but I don't know. I'm going to keep it funky with them. You know what I'm saying? So, the niggas that I pick, they going to keep it funky with me, and I'm going to keep it funky with them. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like, it's definitely not 10 niggas. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it, it's going to be a few. And then, it, you know what I'm saying? And in per you got the in-person practices with certain niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, the night before the events and shit like that. You feel me? But as far as phone calls, yeah, it's like my niggas. So, so, so take me in the building. You in the building, known. Are you surveying the crowd? Because I think, like, who went before you? None, none, and Danny Myers went. And it got kind of dry after the first round, I think, for none, none. I, I'm going to keep it funky. Were you, were you feeling like, wait, are, are you, when you in that moment, are you analyzing the crowd for battles before you? Or, like, um, what, what's your yeah, thought Yeah, yeah, I do, I do, I do, I do some, most of the time, like, right? That's my shit. But... Like, I ain't gonna front. I'm gonna keep it funky. Yeah, no, nah, we keeping it funky. Nigga. Keep it this funky, is Chris right? Unbiased. We keeping it funky. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't really like know my rounds as good as I should have for this one. I ain't like you nah, know. Now, why you think that? Is it because you wrote late? Because you just had hard time remembering, or what? Nah, I won't really know. It was uh, just you was high. Nah, nah, not either. <laughs> okay. not either. I'm, I'm gonna be high regardless. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know, just I would I would say probably late preparation, man. You just I just you know just so much was going on at the time. You feel me? Not no excuse to shit, but I mean, I'm I do mad shit, dog. Right. Like I'm keeping funky. I do mad shit. So you know what I'm saying? Like I still gonna have my shit done, memorized, and all that shit. But now hold on, I wasn't hold as shocked. Hold up, because this is this another big question in battle rap. So, you know, it's been a lot of talk about whether or not they give you the right amount of time to battle. So Sometimes they, they, they do, sometimes they don't. I ain't so are front. they calling y'all, like, with the proper preparation time, or they just, not like... Not all the time. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it is what it is. Like, you know what I mean? Niggas might call you sometimes. You gotta... 
I feel like the main event, no, they be having the most time. You know what I'm saying? Which niggas will say, all right, Top, you and Rock had the most time. That's motherfucking shit. But I think the main event has the most time. If you're not the main event, then, you know, they, they still call it. it I, my last three battles before Rock, I had two weeks to write. So that's my em last three Emerson battles. Kennedy. Emerson Kennedy. Mike P., right? It was Emerson Kennedy, Mike P., and Sharon. I had three weeks, uh, two weeks to write for each of, each of them battles. You know what I'm saying? So... You know now now what's gr what's good time for you? Like like what, what a month a month and a four, week so four weeks a month and a week it's okay. it's like ideal you know what I'm saying a month and a half if if like it all depends bro because I could write in two weeks like I got crazy with Sharon in two weeks crazy like you know what I'm saying now why why do you think people that may not be able crazy to... with might be crazy with uh no, no, you EK didn't. you feel me so they. I don't, it's just, I guess, a preference thing. Just knowing that a nigga got real life going on too, that they would prefer to have more time. You know what I'm saying? That way, I can say, I, right, I know I can set three days a week, three days for this week aside for writing. I, right, I know I can do two days a week next week. I, boom, I got such and such going on. Those two days, I could just dedicate that to writing. So, boom, so, boom. so, we, so, so the more time you got, the more time to plan. Just like anything else. You so know we we hear that a lot. Why you think more people ain't dubbing it? Is it because the money's too good and they don't feel like you are ready to spin the block and put them back on another card quick enough? Or? I don't know. I don't know about the spin the block. Maybe you know what I'm saying. I, I, I think it's all about your relationship and your track record. You know what I'm saying. Like I have a great track record with URL. You know what I'm saying. Great relationship with URL. So. Like I don't got plenty of calls. And you, where I be and like, you, and you don't be choking. So no, I, mean, I don't got, and I don't got plenty of calls. Where I'm like, nah, I can't do that one, big bro. And not be scared. Like, oh, they gonna call me again? Did I just fuck up my my chances or whatever? Fuck no, because they know that I get busy. You know what I'm saying? This might not be a a good look for me or a good suit for me or just not right now. Whatever it is. So I don't really think. Give me a battle. Really give me a battle. Spin the block problem. I just be. I think I don't know. I think niggas definitely want the money. A lot of niggas. Rely on battle rap to pay their bills and their kids or whatever they got going on. So a lot of niggas ain't in position to turn down battles. You know what I'm saying? As shit. At one point in time, nigga, I won't in position to turn down no fucking battle. I'm taking them. You feel me? But you just gotta, you know, grow your brand and be All right, before we shit. before we get further in this recap, yeah. give me a battle you turned down. Somebody that you still haven't battled. What's the name you got that you <laughs> not saying that they trash? It just wasn't the time for it right now. You just like, nah, I'm good on that right now. I'm I'm looking for a different opponent, or that don't mean it's a bad thing for them. It could just be you, you want to battle oh, something red. different. Oh, red was some, a name you got. Yeah, oh, red was off a, a couple of times, and I still want the battle. I just didn't want it at the time. You know what I'm saying? We'll do it one day, whenever, whenever, whenever. You know what I'm saying? I don't think. I don't think like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even heard from over it lately. You know what I'm saying? But that's just a name that, that I got thrown a couple of times. Shout out O'Rear, man. All right. Shout out O'Rear. Now you in the building. Yeah. Like what are you thinking before you get on stage? Like how you feeling about the crowd? How you feeling about the other battles you feel like niggas get um, the crowd so is so showing much love? going on that day, right? Like before you even before we even get into the battle, like I also launched my second cannabis company that day. Like, that was the launching of Unbearable Flavors, you know what I'm saying? So, I was launching that, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing that, and um, I had the, the uh, just everything set up, you know what I'm saying? Getting the merch table in and, and making sure the banners and posters is up, the t-shirts, the merch is accounted for, all the product is accounted for. Um, and so, I was taking care of that for the most part, you know what I'm saying? I had my team in there, everybody hustling, bustling, getting that shit right. Um. So the first thing I noticed, like, as far as the crowd was, like, how, not empty, but how empty the building was. You know what I'm saying? Because that building fits a lot of people, like a lot of people. And it was like maybe a third of the building filled up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a third or a quarter. So it left mass space. So we already know from that experience because... And it don't really come across the best, you know. That's why I can see how real sick and people have mic issues. Shy still got them out of it. I don't mean nothing, but I can see about that because, like, when you got a room that big and it ain't that many people in there, so it's like certain echoes, echoes it's gonna be yeah. certain shit. We did, we dealt with that. Um, when I battled Geechee at that club in Queens, that hold like three thousand people, it was like 800, 700, 600 people in there. Same shit when we battled, um, did the, the two on two shit. Same shit. It was a, and that that event was free. 
And it was like, you know what I'm saying, man, a thousand people there. So, like, we, we learned from that. So when I seen that, I'm like, all right, cool. Is, my, is the audio going to be right? Let me see how this going to go. Uh, uh, all that shit. Um, so I really wasn't noticing, like, if the crowd was going, because I'm still selling my product. You know, everybody, they still they still battle fans, so they still buying product. I'm still taking pictures because that's what we do. So, you know, I'm, I'm really not giving a, getting a vibe of if it's going to go my way or not. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit, I'm just doing my thing. I go outside. I practice. Uh-uh-uh. I come back in when it's showtime. Man. Okay, so you're on, the, you're on the side, smack getting ready to call. Mm -hmm. Was that, you know, obviously, shout out shout out to Bridge. You bought Bridge out or whatever to support, you know. I, from what I understand, I guess he was going to flip the coin. I saw heard in the interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people thought he may be in your round. Was that ever a discussion? Was it ever like, yo, <laughs> you got sixteen for me? I like, nice. well, was that ever, was that ever a talk? <laughs> we talked about it. Okay, we talked about it. Shout out my nigga Steen, man. That's my dog. Steen a solid nigga. Okay, so they call you on stage. Smack calls you on stage. What are your thoughts coming on stage? Be honest. All right, so boom, I'm like. <laughs> Now this is when you tell if, if they fucking with you or not. All that seeing the crowd shit, that shit don't matter. I ain't gonna front. That shit don't matter. You vibing with the crowd, none of that shit really matter. This is the part that matter. So smack call my name out, right? Boom. So first I was on this side. You know what I'm saying? I was on this side. I'm like, ah right, yeah, I'm about to get crazy. So then they come to me last minute, like, yo, bro, do you mind getting on the other side? And I don't think this won't take Rob for tonight, cause Tay Rob was like, yo, what side you want? I was like, yeah, I'm gonna take this side. <coughs> So then they come to me, they're like, yo, we're going to um, switch you to the other side. Is that cool? I'm like, now, everybody know this. The nigga that come out on this side, closest to the where you walk up at, comes out last. So you get the second reaction. So right. you can really just it off of, you don't want to be the first reaction. You feel me? You know, And they do that on purpose sometimes. Sometimes smack a caller. I'm dead ass. Sometimes smack a call out the nigga he know going to get the less reaction first. That's what he's supposed to do to make the second one. And now... <laughs> The Pluton champ, you know how that shit go. You know my, that, my second nigga, that second nigga <laughs> gonna get the reaction. That's just how the fuck it go. You feel me? So, yeah, I mean, they called me out to the stage, T top. I, uh, well, all right. <laughs> all right, you know what I'm saying? You hear motherfuckers, you hear about. If it's, if it's like, if it's a thousand niggas in there, you hear like maybe 20. 30 people. Yeah, right, right. They were probably my cousins. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so, boom. That's all you hear, right? So then, Briz come behind me. Boom. Now, Briz don't even come out until I'm across the stage. So this Briz come out, they go crazy. I'm like, oh, yeah, they expecting to hear Briz tonight. Because <laughs> I already seen some shit on Hip Hop is Real put some shit up where it's like, Briz talking to Beasley or some shit like that. They're like, oh, and I'm reading reading the comments. I don't never read comments. I don't read the comments on YouTube, nigga. They're like, oh, yeah, Briz is going to jump out and around. What, what round is they going to? Oh, Briz is going to jump. So I'm, I'm already knowing they're expecting that, but I'm like, damn, we ain't even doing yeah, that. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't even on that time. We ain't even on that time. So I knew they was expecting that shit, right? But, um, all right, so boom, I can cross the stage. Briz come out, they see my nigga Steen, they go crazy. Yeah, Steen Briz, what up? Now, are Ooh. you in the moment or do you realize like, oh shit, this this how, this, this what they doing? I real no, I realized that when they when they didn't cheer for me like that, when twenty motherfuckers said, and look, it, it was all off like this nigga doing like this, and motherfucker. So it sounded all wacky and awkward and shit. You know, niggas, woo, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. So. I'm like, all right, fuck it. So I already knew off that. You know what I'm saying? So boom, Briz come. Briz, me and Briz over there. They say Tay Rock. Man, I swear to God, Chris, I ain't going to lie to you, bro. I saw about 500 hands in the air like this, man, throwing up guns. I said, oh, it's quiet for me. Like, it's, you know when you know. Like, it's like, all right. All right, so when they call you out, they ain't changing. You're like, all right, they ain't going to fuck me. I'll just shake them up. I'll wake them up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, nigga, they ain't going to deny this work. You feel me? Hey, yo, they call your opponent. You just see everybody. It's like the whole support system. Yo, Tay Rock had this group of like eight niggas that was together. They all came together. The motherfuckers was in the middle. Them niggas wouldn't give me shit. So they was on like, they was on demon time for Tay Rock. You hear me? It was crazy. 
So I already knew right then that it was going to be a tough night. You know what I'm saying? I knew it was going to be a tough night that he won the coin toss. They was going crazy for that. You know what I'm saying? They ain't like they ain't give a fuck if he went first or second. They just wanted him. Right. I noticed it. You know, you know, when you in that moment, you notice and everything. Like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And it was like, once you up there, you at the point of no return, you nigga, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, so it's gonna be one of them nights. I done had one of them nights before, but the only other time I had that night was in Houston. The same place, same shit against Ill Will. So I'm like, Damn, do do I do Houston got a thing against me? Like, I ain't battling in Houston no more. It's over. It's quiet. I'm never battling in Houston again. I don't give a who I'm battling. I ain't battling in Houston no more. Them niggas, they might love me, but they don't want to hear me rap. That's just what it is. So I ain't fucking with it no more. Like, right, so that was the only two times that happened to me was in Houston. So, boom. All right, back to it. Take take me through your first. So you go first. Your first. Yeah. As you writing, I'm pretty sure you're writing haymakers and you feel like, oh, I'm going to fuck them up with this bar. Yeah. What bar did in your first round didn't get a reaction you thought would get? Like, what um, do you know? Like, oh, shit. This, this. Let, me, let me see which round was in the first real quick. I'm about to tell you. Hold on. I got to see. I don't even remember like that. Um, Shit, the saute. I thought that just because of the flow pattern and all of that was just going to get it. You know what I'm saying? I thought the saute was going to get that. I thought the Midnight Madness, everybody left and had me Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say your first, talking so about? Hold on, say your first round acapella, because niggas say you, you was on your scheme shit and rounds. Let's, let's go acapella real quick. Let's, let's yeah, start and it's off. crazy, because I wasn't even like, it took me so long to, all right, but whatever. I'm like, you know what I mean? I said it was hard writing for my dog. Damn, where am I going to start? I know to y'all he a para animal like Noah Zog, but I know he's soft. He tried something on the stage tonight, and I'ma throw him off and have rock on his back like a high stone massage. Yeah, I know he fraud. He ain't never took no trips for them long plays. I told Sean it's a different type of butter in the park, K. Okay? I put coke in the water, make crystal out of soft clay, let it simmer in the pan. That's something you never saw. Take, come on, like I'm oh, no, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Hold oh, yeah, oh, on, yeah. hold on. Keep it That's going, keep you it never going. saw Tay. I said I had him shooting up every night. Though my scale was jumping. I gave him needles, spoons, straps, anything that could help with something. We ain't even see the police coming. Sometimes you can just tell they coming. It's like midnight madness. Everybody left and had me giving out belts for nothing. Shells is dumping. I just talked to my plug last week. He told me that some bells is coming. And if he throw you work, you'll snitch. Yeah, you can tell he fronting. Big bl You can tell he fronting. Big blade. From the side of your rib case to your belly button. Or I can make him sit with a 30. I R. Kelly something. Tell me something. Tell me something. How you ain't learning nothing from what the staff offered. I mean, even when your career was bad, awful, all we heard was get that nigga rock. You ain't even realize it was bad for you. But now due to inflation, we see how much that gas cost you. They put a rock in front of a tank. Yeah, that sound like Dante versus Javante. I'm on your lawn, Tay, with a long K. About to pick a bitch up in front of the crib. It's a prom date. You know why we don't get a long tape? It's because I know you never gave a shit. After that fight, I was on the line every day with Bridge, like, like where you want to take it, kid? Yeah, we started replaying the footage, trying to see who on stage and shit. I seen your man's jump front line. Yeah, he always got to take a risk. It's just crazy. Chess was a pawn that take a risk. Why you ain't want to jump in the bra? Oh, it's making sense. It's like the police breaking up a cat fight. Tay's a bitch. And you know the main part that kept making me sick is how we said a line about a nigga moms and you kept screaming, say it again. That was regular shit. But you put so much emphasis on it, you turned it to a magnificent moment. Moot thought we was trying to diss while he mourning that some fists got to throwing. You moonwalked your skinny ass to the backstage, put glasses on and was back laid. Makes sense to me, because we know you met your baby mother on back page. Why you ain't tell him that, Tay? Oh, I guess I got... What I say? Hold up, son. I'm going crazy right now. It's crazy. Nigga, I said, um... Boom, tell it, and you turn into a list crawler. I hit all you. I'm rolling through your neighborhood with two straps with me. The signs say 35, but I don't do that limit. I'm creeping in a car with no tents. They like, who that with me? All they see is me smoking rock through a fishbowl like New Jack City. Bitch, 
Bitch, he a bitch. Nigga ain't never swing a bit. Joe Dirt, we found out Rock was a piece of shit. And the reason why I feel like I'm an entitled too, cause I'm entitled too. I'm a real nigga like Nas album with the entitled too. Um, yeah, a real nigga like like Nas album with the entitled too. Um, nigga. I said, uh, you got in a love triangle and had two men fight for you. They got, they got mad when they ain't want to come and spit nights with you. I give an invite to do from like midnight to two to slide on a street fighter. That's an invite and move. Smack, you been paying them pennies all this whole time. I said, Smack, you been paying them pennies this whole time. You know he just now getting his own car? I mean, you made Roxy Reynolds his whole fucking career like the porn star. Southern amateur action. Ah. <laughs> Come visit me at RoxyReynolds.com I was only halfway through And it ain't like yo top is angling I'm not really angling I spoke about the fight For like four to eight bars And I'm still not even Look I'm still not even halfway through Still getting crazy with your mans They better stop playing with me man But once I'm just giving out All that work and I'm like yo These niggas ain't giving me nothing I knew it wasn't going to be nothing Okay, so Rock go first in his first round. He's getting low. I go first. No, I mean like Rock. Rock go. Oh, his first his... round. Oh, all right. How you feeling about Rock's round? Like it, like was it more than you expected? Average, less than you expected? Beatable, cool. Like what? What are you um, thinking at the end of the? It was doing cool. why his first. It, it wasn't crazy, man. I didn't. <clears throat> I didn't think his first round was crazy, crazy. I, I, I did feel like he was on fire, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think, I think the fans was was, was making him on fire more than the material type shit. Because I'm i I'm hearing the lines, I'm like, um, I don't know which which lines, like, which lines the rounds was in that I was, that I was catching, like, nah, nah, that ain't it. But definitely the first round, I felt like that could have been crazy. I felt like my first round was better than his. And I clearly felt like my second was better. You know what I'm saying? But I felt like my first was better. But I don't think they're going to give it to me because, you know, they kept making them run back. And, you know, and, then, you know, he started. So it made his round. Like, his round was so fucking long. It was crazy, bro. So I already knew what type of time it was, bro. Like, I wasn't expecting no miracle to happen to save me out of that shit. Nigga, I already knew what type of time it was. I'm like, nigga, this is what it is tonight. You know, this is what it is. Tonight. All right, so your second round had a lot to do with caution and a lot to do with. It was with, really uh, my third but, round. That was really my third round, but they wasn't fucking with my first. And I, they I thought had, your second round was the caution training hey, round. I'm trying to put you on game. That was really supposed to be my third. That oh, was my to... third round. That was my <laughs> third. But I seen how they reacted to the to his first. I'm like. Nah, I can't come with my second after he just, you know what I'm saying? After they just went crazy for this, I had to I had to pull a veteran move and like, yo, let me go, let me do my third round now. You know what I'm saying? That's why my niggas ain't had a shit ready and all that shit, cause like they was expecting that for third round. But nigga, I had to I had to make an executive decision because they just went crazy for this nigga. So I had to put Oh, my so you just switched your third to your second yeah, just on just on, on the, the fly. Yeah, on the spot, cause they went crazy. You know what I'm saying for his for his first, so I'm like, all right, and then I know Rock if we're having like you know we know Rock for having crazy seconds, so I'm like, all right, if he gonna try to top his first and the second, I gotta go my I gotta pull out my third. I can't just go to my regular second. You know what I'm saying? What that that was my angling round as far as like with the second with the tranny and caution shit. That, now, that how, how do you honestly feel when people say that they're tired of that particular angle with Rock, like? How do you feel? Do you feel like it's a fair assessment? Do you feel like niggas pick and choose when niggas picking niggas definitely pick and choose, huh? Niggas niggas I mean you know how many times niggas had a baby mama line about T Top? So every every battle I fucking have. Do it I ain't heard nobody campaign and say we tired of this line. I ain't heard nobody, have you? Have you heard somebody say, Yo, we tired of hearing about this when you battle T Top? Talk about something else. Have you ever heard that? No. So I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna rap up what I rap about. They said JC angle, <clears throat> the dance angle was played out when I battled him. Made made a nigga go crazy. Stop this Lux run. Remember that? Stop this loaded Lux run. Yeah, with with with, with a dance angle, brought a whole break dance out. You feel me? I do it. I guess it's just when they want to hear it, son. 
when they when they want to hear it or when they want to respect it, then they'll let it. You know what I'm saying? You know. Well, what what, what, do, what do you feel like you learned from that battle? From from the rock battle, what do you feel like? <laughs> other than I ain't battling in Houston. Now I'm about again. to say don't, don't <laughs> battle in Houston no more. It's over. Um, um, what I say I learned was I just um, because I'm gonna tell you what I feel like when I talk to people. What their biggest criticism is is they feel like you go so hard at the angles. That it's almost like a shade room TMZ, like you just more so exposing than actually. And they feel like your image but, but as a street nigga shouldn't be like, yo, I got the paperwork that says you was beating your baby mama. They like, I don't know if I want to hear that from Top because Top is like a street dude. So <coughs> what, what would they, be they your response to that? Right, so they hear it when every other street rapper do it. You know what I'm saying? Get you got to be taking angles on niggas and talking about what they do in their personal life and shit like that. They love to hear it. When niggas, when niggas take angles on this person or that person or, and I don't really, I don't think it's, I don't think it's gossip. I'll talk about what's already out there. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's like something like maybe the Walmart shit where it's like that, that maybe not was, was, was under wraps, but that still was fucking dope art. You know what I'm saying? Like that was fucking amazing. I don't care. So like everything else that I rap about, I feel like it's already subjects that's out there in the spaces or in the on the Instagrams or in the blogs or this or that. So it ain't like it's like nigga, that's what's out there. That's what we gonna talk about. What the fuck else is it to talk about? How I rap better than you? I know I rap better than you. Let's talk. Let's let's talk about what's going on. Niggas talking about what's going on with me. So what do you feel like is an angle to you that's overused? What do you what do you feel like niggas talk about with you the most in battles? So uh, it's either uh, it's, well, it's it's either it's it's only it's probably your it's probably your mom it's shit. probably moms baby moms or the bridge fight or the bridge and move situation that's what I hear every battle and it's like every battle so I'm like nobody I haven't went one battle where a motherfucker ain't mentioned that shit and you won't hear nobody say oh that shit is getting old when can we hear about something else you're not gonna hear that. You know what I'm saying? You only go hear that when it's uh, you know, we tired of T top or we tired of this type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Or when I'm going at their favorites and telling their favorite shit that they don't want to hear about their favorites. You feel me? That's how the shit really be. Well, I appreciate this recap, man. You know what I'm saying? I did have you losing the battle. You know, I'm always gonna keep it a bean <laughs> with you. I didn't ask you though. I know, but I'm just. Why you I, tell I, me? No, I, why you I like, gotta tell I like, me? I need to ask you. I like to record stuff like this because God hold on, hold on. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because most niggas be in their feelings with bloggers. Nah, I don't be in my but feelings. I know you not like that. That's why. That's, that's why I said that. Because you know, I'm talk shit. But I don't be in my feelings. Bro. I just be bullshit. Because it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like fuck it. You still that nigga to me though. I feel like I won the second, and I feel like I kind of is the first. So you won the battle then, too? What? Well, fuck it. T Top say he won the battle, too. Well, I kiss my ass. I don't want to get Kiss my ass. Nah, but that was dope, though. Um, shout out to Tay Rock. You know what I'm saying? We won one. Might have to see him again. <laughs>